All right, in a previous video, I showed how to, uh, kind of a quick and dirty way of getting the responses from a Microsoft Forms form into a PDF and saved into OneDrive. So this is the form that we're starting with, and I'm just going to submit a response here. So the name and nominee is, let's say, George Washington. And what qualities may me nominate this person? He's a good guy. And did he ask me to nominate him or not? I'll say no and hit submit. And then a flow runs and the end result is that a file ends up in this PDFs folder in my OneDrive. Give it a moment or so to process. There it is. <clears throat> and I can see that, that is committee nomination form response number six. And if I zoom in on that, you'll see that it is Ooh, a little too big. Um, there we go. Nominee name, qualities, he's a good guy. Uh, nomination self-solicited, no. And then a timestamp of when the form was submitted. Uh, so this is great if it's just me and I'm collecting these in one place, like my OneDrive. But if I'm doing this as part of my work with, let's say, a nominating committee, and I want to put these PDFs into a location that everyone in the committee can access. Now, ideally, I would make this a group form and they could all just then access that group form. But maybe I don't want to risk them messing up the form. Uh, instead, I just want to take these PDF documents, and instead of saving them to my OneDrive, I just want to save them to a SharePoint site. So I've created a, <coughs> excuse me, uh, a SharePoint site called Nominating Committee, and in here I have a document library that I created called Nomination, so I can save those PDFs here. Uh, that's one option. Now another option, because if the end result is that we want these nominees, these nominations to be actionable. So in other words, we want to take their names and then let people vote on them, whether we're going to add them to our committee or not. Uh, I might want to take that data and put it into a list in SharePoint. Now a, a list in SharePoint is kind of like a web-based spreadsheet. Um, it's think of it as a way to store tabular data. So I'm not storing files here. Uh, but I'm going to store the name of the nominee, the justification or you know, reasoning, what makes them qualified, etc. And then a yes or no value of whether it is a self-nomination. So uh, now the beauty of this is that I'm going to show how to do both of those things. Uh, and you can do this in one flow. A lot of people think, well, I, I have this flow that does this. So now I need, if I want to take that same information and, and send an email or... Um, save that file somewhere else, I need another flow. No, you don't need to do that. You can do many different things in the same flow. Now, there's sort of a breaking point where um, a flow might become too complicated, but these are relatively simple things. So we can do them all in one flow without too much uh, hassle. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is go over to our flow itself. And this is the flow that we're using. It's just the form to PDF flow. Um, and if I refresh this, we'll see there is that run from uh, three minutes ago. It succeeded. But let's open this up and see what it looks like. And when I edit this, it's going to use the new editing interface, which I'm getting used to. I still don't love it, but it's okay. Um, let me just get rid of that copilot that would give us a little more room. I do like the fact that it gives us a little more real estate to work with here. Um, and the fact that you can kind of do this fit view and zoom in and out more easily without actually zooming your browser in or out. Anyway, most of our flow is going to stay the same. So we're still getting the, getting the response, getting the details, doing those time conversions basically to get the convert the submission timestamp for the file name. Um, and then we're going to still compose the file name and compose the file content. Uh, those are going to be the same. And very simply, the file name is just going to be the committee nominee response with the number received on the converted date and time. 
And then the file name is basically our heading with the response number, the name, qualifications, self-solicited yes or no, and then the submission information. So nothing fancy. Now, if we want to get this as a PDF, we still sort of need to use the OneDrive actions because there is a, basically in the OneDrive connector, there is a convert file action that will convert this HTML file that we're creating into a PDF document. There's no such action in the SharePoint connector. So even though we want to use, we want to store this file in SharePoint, we still need to use those OneDrive actions just to do that conversion to PDF. But what I'm going to do is basically this is where we're creating the file as PDF and then deleting the file, which is deleting the original HTML file. So those I'm going to leave. But instead of this create file as PDF, we're going to actually, you know, I'm going to add a parallel branch. So we'll still create it in OneDrive, but we'll also create it. I'm going to do a create file but I want to create a file in SharePoint. So I'll select the SharePoint action and then select a SharePoint location like our nominating committee. And let me just grab that URL because something is kind of slow in this tenant where it's just taking its time creating uh, all the bits and pieces. So there we go. So that's the, and then the folder path is going to be that nominations library. Now I could just save them to the shared documents, which is the default documents library, but I like these seem like they belong in kind of a special place. And then for the file name, I'm just going to take the same, actually I want the compose file name outputs and then Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. I don't want that. I want the same ones that are over here, which is the file name of the, from the convert file action. So that's what I want. So we'll get the file name from convert file. That'll be with the proper PDF extension in the file content is again going to be the file content from the convert file action. Easy enough. So I can save this. And let me just give this a name. Create PDF file in SharePoint. And I'll rename this one to create PDF file in OneDrive. And now the other piece that I want to do is adding I'll add another parallel branch. In this case, I want to create an item in that SharePoint list. So I'll search for create item. There is create item under SharePoint. And again, I'll have to paste in probably, yeah. Use that as a custom value. The list name is going to be nominees. Now it'll take a moment for it to recognize. So let me show all those. So I want the title to be the nominee name. So let me get uh, name of nominee. So that'll be the title column. Justification will be the what qualities made you nominate this person. And then self-nomination will be the Um, okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
That is a little weird. Why can I not? You know, let me save this. I'm just going to jump over to the, and this is something you might have to do now and then. Uh, I'm going to save this, and then I'm going to switch to the classic designer because it seems like some things are not uh, not entirely there in the new designer. So let me go to the classic designer where I know that that will work. So there I am creating. Then here we're creating the item, and then self nomination, custom value, and why am I not getting any? I want to get the output of that question from the hmm. okay well, well we'll skip that I'm not sure why that's not working it should be I'll just set it to no um, it should be showing me the responses from there so let me Save all this. That's a minor thing. Now, one other question that I often get is, hey, what if I want to send this PDF document that I've created as an attachment? Oh, hey, that's not too much more complicated than what we're already doing, so let's just throw that in here as well. Now, the key is whenever sending an attachment in a Power Automate flow is you need two things. You need a file name for that attachment and you need the content of the attachment. So it's handled as two separate things. So, or two separate pieces of information. So what I need to do is I'm gonna go down here and add a new step all the way at the bottom. And I'll do send email. And I'll just use a plain old send an email v2 action from Outlook. And I'll just send it to myself for simplicity, and I'll just go new nomination, and say, here it is. And then I will open the advanced options here, and we need to specify the attachment name and the attachment content. Guess where I'm gonna get those? From that convert file action. Easy enough. So I'll go to file name and it'll be file name. File attach or attachment content will be file content from convert file. Uh, and that's that's all you need to do. It's just that it's just that simple. So we'll send that file um, as an email attachment. Now one other thing you may want to do as well. And, or not as well, but instead of sending the attachments, so if you're going to have a lot of these, if you're going to have hundreds, dozens of these, um, you don't necessarily want those file attachments clogging up everyone's inbox. So the other option, so let me just rename this to send email with attachment. And I'm going to add... another step here, which is, will be as another send email. Use that same action. But this time I'm going to send an email with a link because now, again, we can send the attachment, just showed how to do that. But if I want to send the, it's a little more efficient to send the link because then I'm not creating a bunch of copies of this PDF and you know, if you send it to a dozen people, that's a dozen separate copies, and all that adds up over time. So if you can, instead of sending uh, the attachment, send them a link to it, assuming it's in a place that they have access to. So I'm just going to send a link to the file that's in SharePoint, and I'll just call it, uh, I'll just use simple nomination form and I'm going to hyperlink that oh and I forgot that there's a kind of a limitation here where I can't actually use dynamic content when creating a hyperlink there so we need to do this kind of the old-fashioned way so 
have to go to code view here and you have to know how to code a hyperlink in HTML. It's just not all that complicated. Uh, it's simply an open bracket a space href equals quote closing quote closing print and then at the end here I'm not, we're not done. I'm just filling in the kind of bookending this. So those are our tags, our ahref, and then between these quotes this is where we're going to put the actual link, and then closing that with a slash a inside the greater than less than. That creates this as a hyperlink, so now we need to fill in the actual URL. Now one of the benefits of putting this in SharePoint is that we have dynamic content. It produces dynamic content of link to the item. Actually, uh, no, I don't want the create item. I want this to be the PDF file. So We'll use the path there. All right. Let's save. And then let's try another nomination here. And this time we will vote for. Uh, this time we'll vote for James T. Kirk, and he is an excellent starship captain. And did he ask me? You know what? He did ask me, so I'll say yes. And there we go. That's going to submit it. Now, if we go back and look at our flow run here, fingers crossed that that completes and doesn't fail on us. It succeeds. So there is our, oh, let me close out of this. If I refresh, there is nominee response number seven. There's James T. Kirk. Over in our nominating committee, there is James T. Kirk justification. Now the self-nomination, because for whatever reason that isn't coming up as dynamic content, we'll leave that for another day to figure out. And so that is the nominees list. Uh, I could then, if I wanted to do, you know, there you can enable ratings in these lists. So you could allow people to add, you know, vote right here within the list. Um, and if I go to my nominations, there is the document, that same PDF in uh, a SharePoint site. So there we go. We took what was a simple, inf uh, oh, got the email. So if I go to our new nomination, now this one sending the link didn't really work because I didn't use the right thing. So that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. But there is the attachment with the, or the, the email with the attached PDF. Um, so yeah, don't there, don't uh, hold the fact that this, this link in the email didn't work against me because that's just something that uh, something screwy is going on there, but uh, you know you can get a link to the file in SharePoint uh, and just forgetting something today. But there you go. That is what we can do based on, um, you know, other options to do with that PDF. So save it to SharePoint, uh, send it as an email attachment, take that same data and put it into a list, which then makes that data actionable and allows you to do things with it. Uh, so whichever one of those is going to fit your needs, uh, you now have some additional options. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if you do have any questions, throw those in the comments down below and have a great day.